Alright, in this video I'm going to go over the uh, things listed over here. So the first thing is I'm going to create a slider to uh, put a car on the roller coaster. So if you go to the uh, menu right, it's right next to the compass tool, the first option is a slider. Go ahead and click on that. And then you can put this anywhere you want on the uh, sketch. So I'm just going to click it over here. I could always uh, move it afterwards. And let's go ahead and give us a name of, uh, of time. Now the minimum is where you want <coughs> your animation to start. My roller coaster starts at negative uh, 30 and it ends at 80. And then the increment, um, you have to change that to a 0 0.01. Um, 0 0.1 isn't going to be very accurate, so it changes to 0 0.01. It'll look a lot smoother and a lot nicer. And go and then go ahead and hit apply. And that means that now your slider is active. So what I want to do now is put a point on my uh, my function. So if I go to the input bar, I have to put this down as an ordered pair. So I have to put the x coordinate, which is going to my x coordinate is going to be a time. And this is case sensitive, so you have to input it exactly the way you typed it. So that's my x coordinate. Now my y coordinate is going to be this function evaluated at time. Now my piecewise function, I labeled it as m of x. So I'm going to have my y coordinate be m evaluated at uh, time. And then close the parentheses, hit enter, and there's your point on the graph. So now anytime I move this, it's going to move along with what the function is uh, defined as. All right. But I want it to look a little more like a car. So I'm going to um, double or right click on the, the, the point, go to object properties. I'm going to uh, change the color. I'm going to make it uh, maybe maroon. The style, I'm going to change it to maybe a little little bigger, so it's, it's five. And instead of a circle, I want it to be a little filled in uh, diamond. And then I want it to be labeled. I want it to be called a, a car. And then I want it to show the, uh, the caption. So now it's going to show a car. And now to see um, it actually animated, you go to the uh, slider and right click on that and select animation and there's your roller coaster. Alright, a couple options you can have is if you right click on the slider go to object properties. Um, the speed, how fast you want it to go is up to you. Uh, one thing that I would suggest just to have it instead of bouncing back and forth is uh, the repeat just go increasing that way it'll only go forward in time when it repeats and then uh, just go ahead and close that down alright so there's our animation so the next thing I want to do is uh, have the GeoGebra find a derivative for you so back at the uh, input I want to be able to um, type up my derivative so once you start typing derivative it's going to recognize that you want to find a derivative so I want to find the derivative to my roller coaster which I called M so just put derivative whatever your piecewise function is and hit enter and there's your derivative now let me uh, turn this animation off so I want to change this to it's a uh, different color so you go ahead and hit object properties the color I want it to be uh, blue I want it to be a little bit bigger and then the line style I want it to be dotted so now I can see that my derivative is different than my roller coaster so I could also see that it's continuous it's differentiable, which makes the function uh, smooth. The van kinks or cusps. All right. Next thing is I want to be able to show and hide the uh, derivative. So something I'm going to be looking in all your sketches is that you have this uh, this op this feature. And the uh, same menu that you found the slider, if you hit the show hide objects, and anywhere on your sketch, you go ahead and select that. And then the caption is I want to be able to show a derivative. And then you're going to have a drop down menu which says what you want it to show or hide. I want it to show and hide the M prime, the derivative. And you go ahead and hit apply. And anytime you select that now, it's going to show and hide it. All right. And the next thing is I want to insert some text. I want to call this, a, give us a title, so the option after that, the menu, the first option is insert text, 
and I want my roller coaster to be Vermont's last ride. Let me type that up. Go ahead and hit OK. You can right click, go to object properties to uh, change maybe the size of it. Maybe you want it to be a different color. Um, So whatever you want to give, whatever title you want to give it, you can customize it once you right-click on that. And I want to also be able to show the uh, whatever function I have. So I'll go to hit Enter Text again, and then what I wanted to show is my function. So go to Objects, and my function was defined as a M. And then for it to look uh, nicer. In mathematical uh, notation, you hit uh, LaTeX formula. It's going to select that and it's going to show it as a nice uh, piecewise definition. Now, something that will happen for text um, by default is that when you move the animation, when you drag it, it's going to move along with it. So, to have it stay in its position, you uh, right click on it and then this kind of pins it um, to where it's at if you hit absolute position on the screen so now when you drag the uh, sketch it's kind of pinned to where it's at on the uh, on the screen All right. and then I also want to be able to hide and show the uh, the function so I'm going to go ahead and create a, a box for that I'm going to label it um, show function and then I want to show and hide the uh, the text. So the text I've created was the second text box. So I go ahead and hit apply. And now it's hidden anytime I wanted to hide it or whenever I want to show it. I show it. And that's kind of it.